Hey guys, it's Johnny DeKelly. Today we are going to make a GoPro poll. The reason I wanted to make a GoPro poll video was to gain more experience in building stuff. I really don't have a lot of experience in making and building stuff, so my skills are very limited. And a GoPro poll video is very simple, very elementary. So I figured this would be a great start after after this I could make maybe a GoPro gimbal or a gimbal for my GoPro and see how that goes but first let's start with this GoPro pole you know you gotta take baby steps before you run to show you how how inexperienced I am at making stuff I, I spent over an hour at Home Depot staring at PVC's playing around trying to grab see what feels good in my hand seeing what the best caps and couplings combination would look good and I just decided to go with these three pieces just to let you guys know this is not a cheap $15 do-it-yourself GoPro pole mod and second is I decided to make this special for EDC so I spent a little extra money um, this is gonna cost about $30 around there maybe more maybe less it depends what type of tools and materials that you already have lying around. What do we have here? We have, I'll start with the most obvious, a PVC pipe. I decided to purchase a half inch, a half inch PVC pipe. The reason why is because I'm planning to use an insulation, foam insulation, as a handle. You could pick up a bike, bicycle grip and use that as a handle, but I'm trying to keep this under budget but yet look nice so it only costs $1.29 and it's six feet long so I still have a lot of extras we have a PVC cap right here half inch a male cap a threaded male cap and a female uh, plug or I don't know a coupling I'm not really sure what these are I also have a GoPro tripod mount and we have a 550 paracord that you can pick up at Beverly's or Michael's for only three dollars I have some bolts or actually these are washers I have a quarter inch 20 by one and a half inch I'm not sure if I'm saying that right so quarter inch 20 that's one and a half inches long the reason you want this um, you want to make sure quarter inch by 20 or quarter inch 20 is so that the tripod mount will fit onto that. I have uh, nylon lock nuts that I'm going to use. And then what makes this special? I have some EL wires here. Um, these you can pick up at Amazon for five to eight dollars. It has three modes: all on, which it was just on, a blinking mode, and a rapid blink mode. That's the green one. And I have a pink one, but the pink looks more purple than pink. So pretty nice. You could hear the power pack hum. So yeah. Another reason why my shopping list cost a lot was because I needed to pick up a drill bit. I don't have a quarter inch drill bit. Um, I have a drill, a hand-me-down drill that my brother gave me. So I have that, but no drill bit so I had to pick this up it's Milwaukee only $2.99 cement glue I don't have any PVC pipe cement you may not you may need this you may not I'll use this just in case I'd really hate to have one of these couplings come off and lose my GoPro in the middle of the crowd um, so never hurts to be precautious we have black paint simple black paint all purpose it was only 99 cents since I wanted to make this a little special spit a little extra got some satin rust-oleum um, spray paint this was like three dollars then I got some sandpaper it doesn't hurt to sand down what you're gonna paint to give the paint to grab something onto um, I just grabbed this it's 320 grit I probably should have got um, should I purchase maybe a 200 grit instead of 320 but 
it is what it is. I don't have time to go to Home Depot and exchange it. So we'll start off with drilling holes into these uh, caps. So the reason we need to drill a hole into the caps is because we need to put a bolt through this. Um, the bolt's going to go through here, stick out here, and then we're going to attach the tripod mount onto it. That's a little loud. Um, all right, now that we're done placing a hole in the male threaded cap, we're going to insert, I'm sorry, we're going to create an, another hole, but on this other cap. So let's just put it right there in the center. This hole, the reason we're making it is because we're going to make a handle out of this paracord that we could just place. Um, loop around and we'll make a handle so that way in case we do drop the pole we won't lose the pole so it doesn't hurt to have a handle at the end of this pole so let's go ahead and make a hole in this guy all right great so now we have a hole in this cap and a hole in this cap so let's go ahead and make this make the bolt for this since once we have this attached, it's really all down here from there. So we'll also need a washer for the bolt. Um, what's great about the washer is that we could use the washer as a um, as a spacer. So if it's something that needs to be a little wider, we want to make it snugger. Um, washer is great for that. So we'll do that. washer and just slide this through just like that and we're going to use our um actually let's test this out and see if it's wide enough um the reason we're using a lock nut um so this thing's not going to move it will stay still and then we'll just use a screwdriver as you can see it's a pretty good fit pretty good fit we're going to get our lock nut yeah, so I'm gonna screw this guy in and it's actually gonna fit pretty snug in here so the tighter we screw this in the deeper that will go so let's go do that all right so once we got the bolt threaded in all the way cap you want to test it out see how it fits should fit real good um, real great and that's it. Very simple. Looks good. Um, not bad. I think it works. It's very sturdy. Alright, so next thing we want to do is just connect this. I'm not going to screw this in all the way because I'm going to paint the pole, the GoPro pole. So I'm not going to screw it in all the way, but I'm just going to leave it in right there. Next thing we're going to make is just a strap. It's very easy. Um, nothing too complicated. Alright, so now that we got our paracord, paracord loose, we want to get enough cord so we, we can make a handle out of it. Um, wrap our hand easily. Um, once, twice, or something, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And to be able to tie a knot on the other end. I have scissors, so we're just gonna cut the paracord. It would be nice to have a lighter so I could clean this up. I'll pick one up tomorrow, but for our purpose, what we are going to do is, all right, so we could just do a simple slip knot. I don't know how to tie knots also, as you can see, I'm just ruining this. I'm just killing this. <laughs> Wow, this is all bad. All right, just for demonstration purposes. So, yeah, looks good. It's probably too long. Um, I'll edit this. I'll tweak it. But so, you get the idea. All right, next thing, what we're gonna do, is just slide this guy in but before I do that what I want to do is uh, 
clean this up. So I just want to clean it up. I'm just going to take some scissors, just uh, fold it. I don't want to take too much, um, but yeah, a lot better. See, looks a lot cleaner. We could just. I don't have a shaver. If you have a file, you could use a file to trim this a lot better. But that looks pretty good. Good enough for me. A lot of people use bike grips, bicycle grips, to tr as a handle. I think a bicycle grip would look clean a lot better than this. But this works for me. We need to attach this to this. What I'm going to do here, um, I'm actually going to attach it right here where the seam is. That way it's going to help hide it. I'm just going to shove my scissors in here and just trim it and excavate some meat off this foam. You don't want to take too much because you don't want to, you don't want to lose the integrity of the foam piece. Like I said, it's not a lot, just enough so we could just prop this guy. In fact, I could have just done that. It will fit just fine, but you see it does that. This gap, and I don't want that gap, so. Just kind of eat up some of that. So, it's a lot better, fits in easier. Um, once again, you don't have to trim it. It's still gonna fit. Um, just protrudes out just a little bit more like that. So, to me it's just, those little finer details to make it look a lot better so just like that so once we have this attached once we have this power pack um, attached we're going to just simply slide the PVC pipe into the insulation and we will just keep sliding and sliding you don't need any lube um, you just want to ease it in there of the PVC out there and just pop this guy in like I said I'm going to paint this pole so this is not done. I'm just showing you how I assemble this. So it's just like that. Just like that. And then this guy. We are just like that. And this is basically it. I'm going to probably go with a pink. Um, go with a pink purple. For my EL wire, pink, purple, going with the teal. I think that that's going to look great together. Um, Alright guys, so I have the GoPro pole, EDC pole broken down. I'm going to now sand it. Easier to just simply just tear. Or if you have scissors, you can just... And we're going to just sand our PVC pipe. That way it gives the paint something to grab onto. Just like that. This right here, you're not going to see the threads. You'll just see the outside. Um, so I'm just touch the outsides. That's that. I'm just going to clean this up. It's a little too cold. As you can see, it's 1.30 a.m. or just about. It's too noisy to be shaking cans tonight. A little too noisy, if you ask me. So I'm just going to wipe this up and then continue on tomorrow. All right. Hey, guys. It's John A.D. Kelly here. I'm back. I got my parts all painted and dried, as you can see. Uh, this piece had a little neck on it, but the paint still came out fine. Um, painted some parts black and to give it some accents. Um, and here's the pole. Not too bad, right?
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope I wasn't too boring or mumbling too much and was very difficult to follow. If you guys see me out there on in Vegas at EDC or at the Cosmo, um, just come up to me and say, what's up? That'd be cool. Or if I miss you at EDC and you just happen to be going to a Villa Beach Club to see Above and Beyond in a couple weeks, just say what's up. All right, guys. You guys have fun, be safe, and party on.